guys welcome to you to the channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video uh, we are going to talk about uh, roll engine how to use roll engine in spring boot so uh, specifically if i talk about roll engine so whenever we, we are going to implement complex uh, business role that we, uh, we, we can be using roll engine and to achieve roll engine we often use uh, uh, some uh, we often have to uh, uh, depend on some new technology that is drones and Kai project. So if I talk about uh, drones, drones uh, it's open source business management system that can be integrated easily with the Spring Boot. And, and Kai project uh, support the integration of uh, drones with other technologies like uh, Spring Boot framework. Okay. So with that further to uh, I, here I already created one simple project. Uh, in that I have implemented each and everything. So before starting with, you just to generate the project, just go into the uh, Spring I/O and uh, and add this to the dependency. And uh, uh, for now, I'm using Java 17. You can go with your prepared, uh, prepared one and often that module into your uh, your regular use ID. Okay. So uh, when you, uh, you uh, import this uh, this uh, project into your ID, you have to make sure that you have added this port and dependency into your form XML that is uh, drawls mabel, uh, drawls core, drawls compiler, and drawls decision tables. Okay, and for the version that I'm I'm uh, using here, it's a uh, eight point. Uh, for 42 dot not dot final so you can go with the go with latest one or whatever was or either you can go with this one too so after that in resource file just create one directory and uh, and uh, with this role and inside role all the roles that you want to set out you can uh, you can define here with some uh, with one condition then do these do that so here I have I have uh, I put some uh, condition basic condition. So uh, uh, once you you put your eye on it, you can easily understand. It's not that it's just a text I know. And uh, let's go into the package. Here I created some classes. One is customer type. Whether customer is loyal, new, or dissatisfied, and what a discount it is going to contain all the discount which is which will be return type. Uh, when customer will uh, put a request and that uh, this is the order request so whenever customer will uh, ask for discount that time uh, they will I mean uh, customer will have a customer has to be uh, yeah, input some parameter that is input input some detail which is customer number age amount and customer tools so uh, so higher up customer will for the uh, input these so our drones will uh, evaluate those uh, parameter value and according of that our drones will act upon so let me uh, go into the drones so here i create one drones configuration file so in this uh, just define the role uh, our dll file path of dll file where it is available does it define that file and kai service so if I talk about Kai, Kai itself define it stands for knowledge is everything. Okay. Um, so it is uh, uh, it is a set of project under JBoss community that provide tools and uh, framework for building and executing a business role, process and decision management application. So these Kai project are often used in in conjunction with Java based uh, enterprise application, including Spring Boot itself. Okay, now uh, and uh, drones. Maybe I already talk about that. So when it comes to Spring Boot, uh, you, uh, we can integrate uh, integrate Kai project like drones into Spring Boot application, and it allows us allows us, uh, I mean, to leverage the powerful drone engine or business uh, process management capabilities capabilities. Okay. So here, yeah, here I simply like I create an instance of Kai service. So in, in this Kai service, there is a lot of method that we are going to use later on in this video, I will show you. So uh, just create a uh, uh, 
method of uh, Kai container. So in, 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 in that method, I just create an instance of uh, Kai uh, file system uh, by taking help of Kai service, uh, uh, new file system method, which is available here in Kai service. Then first that uh, our uh, path of the DRL file to this Kai file system, then uh, parsing and uh, then creating Kai builder uh, by taking uh, help help of Kai new Kai builder which is uh, available in Kai service it, uh, again uh, by and and with passing uh, this Kai file system and Kai file uh, and Kai builder uh, I'm using build all uh, method which will compile the file and and build all the resources into the Kai file system okay and uh, this uh, here I'm creating one Kai module which is going to uh, call get key module method uh, uh, and uh, to obtain the Kai module which uh, represents the compile resource again and on down here I just create an instance of Kai container using the new Kai container method of uh, Kai service and 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 passing the Kai module and uh, Kai module release ID. This release ID will represent a specific version of role or process. Okay, so that's it about this class. And go into the service class again. In service class, uh, I just create, I just inject the Kai container here, and after that, just create one uh, method which is. Uh, uh, order discount so in the in that just create instance of order discount after that Kai session so Kai, if I talk about Kai session is the runtime environment where rules rules whatever rules we have in that file is going to execute it in the Kai session itself um, and then uh, create setting up a, a, a global variable in the Kai session in the name of uh, order discount then inserting that uh, that variable that uh, I mean uh, that order discount uh, variable uh, into the into, uh, into the Kai session so that it will be available for the roles role to evaluate and uh, will uh, and will act upon the criteria of all the whatever parameter it will uh, uh, get from the user from the request and finally I'm trigger and uh, I'm triggering fire or rules. So in the Kai session, is going to execute all the rules and uh, whatever request, whatever information it get. So according of that, it will evaluate the inserted order, order request and may and and will modify the global order discount variable based on the condition or an action. And finally, uh, I'm disposing the Kai session uh, after role execution. So this is important to release any resources associated with the session. Okay. And finally, I'm returning the discount order discount object, which may have been modified by the roles role during their execution. Okay. And simply go into the com uh, controller, just calling up the order discount service then simply a uh, endpoint where i'm calling the order discount okay so this is all about uh, session if i show you the demo so let me run this application first at the same time open the postman 2 so on based of uh, this criteria i will go to get the discount going to take few minutes to run and off let me This is the endpoint our uh, get discount. 
Okay, my application is running on this 8080 port. Okay, so this is for uh, uh, the endpoint. This is the endpoint where we are going to hit the application. So I am passing a contact number. This one uh, random contact number and the age I am uh, defining here is 78. Amount 5000. And customer type is loyal. If I hit so I'm getting the discount 20%. Okay. If I change this age criteria, let's say it's uh, 80, 17. Okay. 17. Uh, name and person. Let's say uh, amount 400. How much I get discount? It's 15% discount I'm getting. So this is it. So whenever you put any request from here, it going into into the discount and Kai session are evaluating this uh, parameter and 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 reading out uh, evaluate those this I mean fire all the I mean Kai session will fire all the rules which is available inside this file and evaluate your data with this file whichever met its uh, criteria whichever which condition is meet is condition uh, I mean it's room it's a uh, point condition then it will uh, return you the rest, same response same discount and before one thing you have to uh, make sure one thing that uh, this import the class or the class request you have to define it correctly as your own so this is the simple demo application that i want to show you guys i hope uh, if, if 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 this video help you uh, please uh, hit um, hit um, subscribe my channel and also I'm uh, for the source crime providing the github URL link uh, in the in the description of this video so please check out that um, so this is it thank you